we have been looking at buying a car. Get a witness here to help finalise, you know, signing papers and things. We are the mechanic now. The mechanic is trying to check all the small, small problems. I finally have that surprise for you that I told you we have. Do you? <laughs> Hello everyone. Hello everyone, welcome back. So, as you would have seen in a previous video, I'm going to keep my voice down a bit because the kids don't really know. We have been looking at buying a car and we have decided on one. It's one that we did show you in the other video, a Toyota Wish, and it is more expensive than we initially wanted to, you know, more money than we wanted to spend. But we've had Josh's brother-in-law, the mechanic, look at every single car and he says the condition of this one for the money this is the one we should get because the cheaper ones we're just gonna have so many issues with them that it's just it's just really just not a sensible decision so we think we're gonna go for this one as we did mention in the video before we don't actually have like the cash to outright buy this we are happy to take a bank loan for it which is not ideal and i think has been like a hard decision to make whether we should do that because cars here are not cheap but we've gone back and forth and really the safety of our children is top priority and so it's just something that we just feel like we have to do and hopefully we will be able to keep it in you know decent condition and sell it when we no longer need it and recoup that money so yeah so we have designed it the case is going to come we are going to try and transfer the money because it's also another process mm -hmm. so it normally fails mm -hmm. so the guy is going to come we are going to transfer the money and try and see if we can get it. When we get it, then we will call the person with the car buy to bring it here and buy it today. Mm, yeah, transferring the money from the UK is always, always things seem to go wrong when it's large amounts of money. So we're going to attempt that soon. And we haven't told the kids because I actually think they're going to be quite excited about it because it's going to give us so much more freedom and... Yeah, it means like even I can take the kids to places, all of them at the same time and things like that. So we haven't told them. So if we man if it all goes through later, we're gonna surprise them with our new car. It's not it's not our dream car, but it's practical. It works for what we need it for, just going around me taking the kids to school, going around town. But anyway, if it arrives, we'll show you it properly later. <laughs> I'm hungry. So I'm using Remitly, but we have to do it like in bit by bit. But then I know it looks like a bit spammy because you're sending the same large amounts all the time and it's very easy to get blocked. And then it's absolutely a headache trying to contact banks in the UK. I know anyone that has a bank account in the UK knows the pain of trying to speak to your bank on the phone. So we will see what happens. But we've had such little success with cars here before and we didn't really know what we were doing at least we know a bit better now we know more about checking that there's no fines from the previous owner that attached to the car we know about how to change the name of it and everything and just generally know a lot more and yeah this is our we worked this out didn't we we had the honda crv we had the rav we had the harrier and the wish we've had this is our fifth car here and the, all the others problems. Um, um, right, let's see. The first lot's gonna work. How much money can I store on my mobile money on guy? What's the maximum? 15? 14, obviously 15. 14. Ah! Don't say French because the guy is leaving his work. It failed. More to town. It failed. Please contact your bank. Okay, so I'm trying to see if I can contact the bank on online chat. Um. Not only has my bank obviously like refused that first transaction, which is only <laughs> a fraction of what I need to transfer, but um, it does say at the top of Remitly, which is what I use to transfer, it says that any transfers to Uganda are going to be delayed due to a technical problem. So 
<sighs> variety of issues already and it's just always such a pain trying to get large sums of money onto us out here so that has taken hours but i finally managed to transfer all the money so now it's on mine and josh's mobile money's on our phones that seems to be the best way because people here don't want like bank transfers and things well, obviously some do but a lot don't and this gentleman selling the car doesn't he wants the money in cash or on his phone sorry making sure i don't fall down these stairs wouldn't be the first time um finally worked it took hours it's not as if i only started thinking about transferring and sorting the money today i mean that was supposed to be like the last step last bit of sending it and still took absolute hours we're just going to confirm a few things now before we obviously pay the gentleman um making sure that he comes with the original logbook and you know all the names are all correct and stuff that we can't go to on another day you need to go to the ura like the i don't know what that actually revenue authority i think it's called to transfer the names like officially in the system but as long as we have the original logbook and all the papers signed to say that the car is ours, it should be okay to take the car today. This is the car. Just been checking it over, just double checking everything again. It's pretty good. You managed to, to, to do all the money? Yes. All? Yes. Okay, I, I will show you the car. There's a big boot. You can even put the seats down. The sunshine's not great. Okay. Yeah, so the, so it's seven seats with these ones. There you go, big boot. What's next? The door. A bit squeaky, it needs some oiling, doesn't it? There's three seats here. Yeah, all the belts work, which is... All the belts work. Miracle here in Uganda. I'll be sitting here. <laughs> passenger princess. In the passenger seat because Emily says I'll not drive. No, I did not say that. I did not say that. No, I did not say that. Then she'll be sitting there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Has Bluetooth actually on mm -hmm. the, for the music, which is also doesn't happen often. Mm -hmm. Right, the aircon the works aircon. well. Everything works. Yeah. Properly. What needs fixing? Check. The brake pads is shaking. Replacing, isn't it? Or replacing. Then, yeah, and. Few scratches and things. Few, just few scratches. But, yeah. Emily has a car now. We have a car, a family car. Josh doesn't have his, you know, sports car that he wants. I want to buy. <laughs> I think he actually wants one like this. I want. That's I what he wants. One like That's this what one. he wants. This is for girls. Excuse me. We don't behave like that. So I could drive that if I wanted. Yes. yes. So yeah. That is our car, guys. And we're just trying to get a witness here to help finalise, you know, signing papers and things. And then we'll go and show the kids. And then we'll go take it for its few little repairs. We are the mechanic now. The mechanic is trying to check all the small, small problems which the car has, so they can fix them straight away because we don't want to leave them when you leave them they become big and big so that's why i'm here trying to fix the car fast turns out the car needs a lot of fixing so that's what we are doing now It's so noisy, I don't know if you can hear me, but the car was out of service and now we are doing the service. Because Alfred is a witness. Even you're a witness. <laughs> Even you're a witness. <laughs> so we are signing an agreement 
short one of the car. We are paying out of it because tomorrow they bring the card and <coughs> we do a better argument when the old money is paid. Guys, I finally have that surprise for you that I told you we have. If we make our way down here, I can't walk backwards down these steps. I don't think you realise what it actually is, do oh, you? Car! 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 Did you buy one? We did. We, you mean now we have our own car? Yes. Yes! 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 Guys, Bazali is bringing your car seats down. You, mean we have our own you, car? you need your actual car seats, so Bazali is bringing your car seats down, okay? You mean we have our I, I own. This I is a, you mean you buy your car? We have, and I told you it's gonna make it's gonna make our life so much easier, isn't it? Now we can just if we have our venture, we can just go. Yeah. Why not? Why not? We need to go on more adventures, don't we, yeah. as a family? Because we haven't been on any adventures this Mama, week. How much is it for? Too much. Huh? Too much. How much? What? Too much. How much? Stop being so nosy. You don't need to know that. Yes! Right. Mommy! Mommy has said Anyway, too much. right, guys, come back out whilst you put, put your car seats in. Come out. That's it. We're all in the car. I can't yes. see you all. I put my bag here. Can't see you all. How is it? Is it comfortable? Yes. yes, we need to go and get fuel. The car is already on empty. But anyway, first ever day taking you all to school. James is back to school today, first day back. So yeah. Car. Yep. Daddy. Daddy, why is it squeaking? Bye Derek. Bye Bazale. Why is it squeaking? Okay, the brakes are really bad, it's squeaking. It's making so much noise. Oh, it's been at, like, the mechanics for like two days straight and this is meant to be a really good car. You see, Mommy, you see Hamza's guys. And that is the reality of buying a car here. Thank you, Ascali. Thank you, Ascali. Bye, Bye. We're at Tally School. Yes. First drop off. Going to James is turn. Going to it's time for you. Last drop off. It's because you start the latest. That's why. <laughs> So having a car has honestly like made so much different to like our lives already. I just feel so much more free and I'm able to take all four kids around by myself. It is just honestly, I can't believe the difference it has made. Um, this one has been getting it completely fixed up. I've been fixing all the shocks, all the brakes, everything. So it's perfect and safe for her to be taking around the kids. And all this, yeah, it has been helpful have a car because now she has been going around to take the kids and everything with no stress and we're trying to trying to fix it up as much as possible and like maintain it really well so that we don't lose much value now that josh has done all this work on it i think there's one more thing left to fix what's the last thing you need to get fixed that you've ordered from kampala it's the brake controller some spare part which we have to order from kampala now that's the only thing left. But other than that, this has now become like one of the best cars I've driven here. It's so easy to drive. It's just, yeah, obviously it's still a very old car. But um, yeah, we're really happy with it. So although it was, it's been rather 
a big decision to decide to get the car. I feel like yeah, we're really happy with our decision. All right. Thank you for watching this video and thumbs up. All that. Bye. See you next time. Bye, guys.